Alright, so let's get this started. It seems Microsoft is letting game developers self-publish through the Xbox One. Now, for a lot of people, I should explain what this means and how it can be beneficial and how problems could arise. Now, typically, publishing on a game system, you need to buy a developer's kit for the system. And sadly, developer kits could typically run around $5,000. Now, let's be honest here. Indie developers aren't exactly rolling in dough. That's why they are indie developers and not baby Activisions. Most already have other jobs and they spend only a small fraction of their free time working on their little dream games. Now, they won't need to buy a game system. They can just use the regular Xbox One to self-publish. Now, this is a great thing for the little indie developers. It will make things a hell of a lot easier for them to do their little startup projects. Now, with that being said, there is a small problem that could arise, but it probably won't. Typically, dev kits are more powerful and give the indie developer a lot more programming room. And programming off the console itself will be limited based on how weak the console is. Now, the reason I said that this probably won't be a problem is because, well, look at the indie games market. Those aren't exactly pushing the limits of the consoles now, are they? And I don't think they're going to be doing that anytime soon. So it's still a good decision to let the indies self-publish on the system. Now, let's get on to why Microsoft has such a big heart Whereas the last generation, the indie developers had to get the little dev kits. But this time around, uh, Microsoft has opened up and let the indie developers publish on their system. Well, for those of you who forgot, uh, Microsoft fucked up. They drank too much of their own piss and couldn't see anything other than themselves. Problem is, well, <sighs> most people hated Microsoft for being the evil devil gaming company that they are. And after two months of bad press releases, sucky system pre-orders, and a bunch of online hit, Microsoft is now in damage control, trying to stop their gigantic Titanic from sinking into the ocean of money that it currently rides upon. I could complain about a lot more, but there's your update. Y'all take care.